The men and women that make up Fort Hood are a huge part of Bell County and Central Texas as a whole. Tonight in our Faces of Fort Hood series, 25 News reporter Adam Schindler meets one soldier and her four-legged friend working to keep us all safe. Meet Corporal Rihanna Chavis, military working dog handler who, with the help of her dog Bosco, works directly with Fort Hood military police to protect the massive installation. <laughs> A force protection, uh, searching cars at the gate. Um, our, we help with it, assisting MPs in like narcotic busts or um, like fleeing or aggressive suspects. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Um, it's a very, very exciting job. With her father and two older brothers serving in the army, she didn't think twice about her decision to enlist. They set like an excellent example. Um, I got to see kind of how the army life was. Um, and then whenever I discovered the military working dog handler job, um, that's when I was like, yeah, this is, this is what I want to do. Now she gets to spend every day working and training with Bosco and those who work with her say you couldn't find a better pair. She has a very good <laughs> relationship with her dog. I can tell she really cares about him. And then he's just, uh, he's a really goofy boy. He's older, he's been around for a little while, but the energy she brings to the table definitely encourages him to continue wanting to do this job and keep going and going. For now, she plans to keep working with Bosco and other dogs as long as she can. But even if that changes, she won't stray far from a kennel. If I were to go a dif different route, it would probably be um, like down in Lackland where the dogs are trained, handling like and teaching the puppies and uh, training these dogs up so that they can be dispersed throughout the army, not just before her. Corporal Chavis and Bosco are leaving on deployment at the end of the month, but before they go, her team has a message for her. You make a lot of us here at work feel better about what they do with their jobs, and I know you enjoy doing your job, so uh, just always be yourself and, uh, and always do your best to do what you were trained and be safe out there. Corporal Rihanna Chavis has spent the past two years working to keep Fort Hood and the surrounding community safe. Now, she and Bosco are headed overseas to continue that life-saving work. I'm Adam Schindler, and this is Faces of Fort Hood.